So we pretty much here. The place is pretty much right over there. Does anyone else has this problem? Like my appointment's not till 2.45. I am always so early everywhere, so in my life. So it's like 2.02. <laughs> so I think we're gonna go to Target. I just spotted the sign. I'm gonna get JC some pizza from there. And then we will like go back. Do you see two yellow bus? You say bye to the bus? Say bye bus. See you later bus. So you guys, even though JC has this um, handicap permit, I um, try not to park in the handicap spots all the time when I'm with him because sometimes like I'll see like older people and they'll be trying to get a spot, so I'll let them take it, because um, even though JC gives me a hard time sometimes, and he tries to run away from me when we're, um, or run into the street when we're parked and stuff, but some days he's very good about listening, right, baby? Hi, boo-boo. He is so focused on his eyes. Three years ago when you were here, he was having really severe snoring, nasal obstruction, mm -hmm. sinus infections, and also acid reflux. When we looked in him, he had adenoids that were 100% one, 1 obstructing his nose. Mm -hmm. It couldn't be worse. Yeah, so we took him to the OR and we did an adenoidectomy, yeah. which basically means you still have your adenoids, but we made them as small as humanly possible. <laughs> the other thing we did was we washed out the sinuses for good measure because he was having a lot of sinus infections. Mm -hmm. uh, what's happened since then? That was three years ago. Well, after his procedure, um, his surgery, he was doing really great. Like, um, the stuffiness kind of like went away pretty much like that and I can smell it's funky you can still probably smell at night with his mouth open yes hmm, a lot that makes you wonder mm -hmm. um, all right what about strep throats nothing like that I don't know sore, I don't think but so. no sore throats no how are his ears doing are you having any infections or trouble hearing no he has, he has selective hearing for sure <laughs> Who doesn't does he uh, go to speech therapy at all? yes he's still in speech therapy right, yes he never right. stopped all right, what about uh, medicines? Is he on anything right now? Hi. Um, now they have him on a stomach medication for his stomach, but... Um, Is it like what, Zantac or something? Yes, yeah, something just to, um, it's like something to help him go, because he's always constipated. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and then like, I give him probiotic, I give him um, like a few other things that are natural. Does he still see the GI doctor or no? No, we stopped seeing that GI doctor, it just... Wasn't, wasn't working. working yeah, it wasn't doing anything exactly. It sounds like of everything you did, the adenoids was the best thing you could have done. But I know. When things are starting to come back, I don't know what the cause is yet. Because you were telling us before it can grow or something back. Like, yeah. There's a you know one or two percent chance they can grow back, especially no. if you take them out really young. What about allergies to medicines? Um, no, not that right. I know of. His only surgery was the one we did. Oh, the circumcision, but that was it. Nothing yes. Else? Yes. Okay. Oh seven twenty three. All right, so here's the deal, right? Yeah. Let's think this through. Uh, one question we have is, did the adenoids grow back to any significant degree? Right. We don't know. Mm -hmm. So um, there's two ways you can check it. One is to do the scope where we put the camera in the nose. Oh, isn't that what we did before, I think? I think but along yeah. the oh, we did it twice. Yeah.
You did a good job holding it. Yes, <laughs> thank you. My shoulders hurt. <laughs> now the first thing that I saw, uh -huh. and remember, it's not just adenoids that can that can block your nose and make it hard to breathe. Mm -hmm. the, the, the nose, it's, adenoids are behind the nose. Oh, okay. But the nose itself can get stuffy from colds, allergies, or even just crying. And the, the, there's two there's two structures in the nose that are called the inferior turbinates, and they're amazing how they can change minute by minute. They can swell up, they can go down, they can do everything in between. Mm -hmm. When I looked at his nose earlier on in the visit, when he was nice and calm, they looked good. He was crying just a minute ago, and almost just like they just they just went like that. Oh, so when wow. I went in his nose, I was like, wow, there's nowhere even to put the scope. That's wow. how swollen it is. They're squishy, so I was still able to find my way yeah. and get to the adenoids, but. He has shown the ability when he wants to for his turbinates to swell. Oh, wow. And I think when you're laying down at night, especially if you have a little bit of allergies. He's ready to go. <laughs> no, baby. Close the door. Let's have a seat. Way. That's on the list of things that might be contributing to snoring is nasal congestion. Oh, really? And specifically the turbinates. Okay. They're coming and going um, okay. up and down. Uh, what makes them do that? Allergies, sometimes a cold, and sometimes we don't know why they do that. Wow. Um, that's one thing I saw. The other thing I saw is that there is a little bit of adenoid tissue still there. They're not they're not a hundred percent blocking his nose like they used to be, but they've gotten a little bit swollen again. They're maybe like okay. forty percent, you know. Mm -hmm. That's still within normal size. Yeah. So if you got an X-ray, they would look normal. Okay. But um, they're kind of um, a little bit angry looking, like like they're okay. a little bit like red. Like and it's ugly. time for them to go again. <laughs> I would say before you do that, like they just look. A Casey, little bit... get back here, please. Close door. Have a seat. Have a seat. Um, Thank all you. All lymph nodes, like especially adenoids, the reason why they might come back a little bit could be if there's infection. That's that's. Oh. Whereas allergies are the most common cause of the turbinates being swollen, mm -hmm. uh, I would think infection is the most common cause of the adenoids coming back. Oh. And the fact that he's had some bad breath recently, that's a clue that it's infection also. Because in bacterial infections smell, especially when it's involving the adenoids. Oh, okay. So imagine if he had 100% obstructing adenoids years ago, we took him down to 5%, mm -hmm. and now the past few months he got some sort of an infection that settled in them, that could make them start to grow and smell. And now they're 40% and oh, wow. now they smell a little and he's starting to snore again. There's also a lot of mucus back there, oh, really? right on top of the adenoids. So it's more than just the adenoids growing back a little. He's got an infection. Oh, wow. In fact, it was a little hard to see at first because of all the mucus, but I wiggled the scope around and then I was oh. able to see. So I know you're not, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you're like me, I don't like give a lot of medicines, but I'm just saying, just thinking here, if there was a way to just not just jump in and do surgery again, you'd probably give something to get rid of infection, whatever you can come up with. Uh, my standard thing is give an antibiotic. I don't prescribe too many. Oh, can uh, you give um, yeah, antibiotics? But, but looking at those adenoids, yeah. it looks like of all the options, surgery, alternative medicines, nasal sprays, the one thing that probably has the best chance of helping him right now would be an antibiotic okay. because they get rid of the bad breath yeah. they make them shrink a little bit back down and uh, that might work. It won't help with stuff he knows, but I'm not 100% convinced that's his main problem. What it, is his main problem? Yes, the adenoids got sick again. Yeah. Not okay. as bad as before. JC, have a seat, please. <laughs> All right. Chronic, uh, whoops, spot wrong. Chronic Sit down, baby. So Okay, and uh, how much, you said 45 pounds. Okay, so let me do the math here. About, I would say about 50 pounds now. Yeah.